Today Google released their web-based applications for the iPhone and all you have to do is go to google.com and I'm just going to run through the features real quick. It should recognize automatically that you're on an iPhone and you just want to do a search. You've got mail. Thank you. For ice cream. And you see the little spinner up there, and then there it is. All formatted for the iPhone. Click images, it loads real fast because I think that's pre cached. Here's some local search. Gives you the address, the distance um, from your zip code or whatever. Um, it would be really nice if you could click on this, tap on this, and uh, it would give you maps, but it doesn't. But you can call them in case you want to call the ice cream shop. See what their flavor is. And under the news section, the St. Cloud Police investigate the ice cream shop burglary. So there's the news. Uh, Gmail. This is all formatted for the iPhone. And you can see here what it looks like. You can reply, forward, delete, archive stuff. There's more options. You can see your contacts. You can compose a new email. There we go. So you could check mark them. Okay, and then here's the calendar. Just added a couple things in here to show what it looks like. This was already formatted for the iPhone. Now it's just a little easier to get to. Here's Google Reader, an RSS reader. It's all web based. This is what we use to share the news on our news page. So we could say, This is coming from Apple.com. This is their new web apps, most recent. And we can share that right to the site. And then you can see um, all your feeds if you just want to read a certain one. Like Apple's news. And you can see them as tags. And then there's a more section that has Google Docs. And you can't edit these yet. You can only view them. But it is something that they say they're working on. So there's a Google Doc. And I only have one here. But you can see your folders and everything. Then there is Google SMS, which is their texting features. This is all um, directions. It doesn't actually do anything. Now, Google 411, it will make it'll make a phone call straight to their voice-activated information service. Here's the news. Again, formatted for the iPhone. And search. Um, here's your Picasso web albums. I just threw some pictures on here. This is all of our some of our screenshots and you can just tap on one show up like this you can add a comment right here you can search you can go back home and then there is notebook And here's some mobile notes that I made. I don't think you can delete them. But you can view them. And you can add one.
And that is it. That's the Google web-based apps for the iPhone.